What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well today. It's gonna be Thanksgiving week. I took the whole week off so we're gonna get some time in to work on the water box. 7225. This is the Red Sea Reefer 350 we're standing in front of. Everything's pretty much the same. I haven't really messed with this tank in a while with anticipation with the new build. I already staged out where I want it to be, the water box uh, 7225 six foot tank. I, I want it right here. I have the tape up against the wall and everything to see the height and on the floor to see where it would generally sit. Uh, today we're going to work on the stand. Let me show you. garage is a mess right here. But I got the front. Um, crate open right here just to check someone in the comments told me he saw a crack or a dent or whatever in the tank i was checking it out i don't see anything like that but over here i have a bunch of um two by six that i cut to size and two by fours right here the plans i'm gonna go with is um similar to what king of diy does for his stands it's pretty simple um, just a bunch of two by fours, but I'm going with the two by six, so we don't need a center support. Um, from there, I want to wrap it with some nice um, finish wood, so it would kind of mimic what it would come out from the water box factor. All right, guys, this is what I have so far. I'm building the base and the top right now, so I cut it to size. These are the two um, left and right sides right here. It's two two by fours and two by six for the top. These are gonna be bottom top, and these are the length pieces right here. Two two by six and two um, two by four length. I think it was like I'm cutting it under a little under um, six feet, so we can have it flush. Uh, I'll explain later, <laughs> but. I got all these pieces cut and I picked up this Craig pocket jig because we're going to do some pocket holes and make it all look nice so we don't see any screws or anything front facing when all of the doors are off. But yeah, let me get this out and then we'll sort this out and start drilling some pocket holes. All right guys, just making a mess right here. I didn't follow instructions and I just went at it. I messed up and I drilled some holes through my jig right there. So to use this, you need to measure your wood piece. And I adjusted the, the bit right here, but I didn't adjust this piece right here. So when I drilled, it went straight into the freaking um, jig. But I have my pieces right here with the pocket holes. I did four pocket holes on each side for the two by six and two for the two by fours. I got my little jig right there to line everything up. We're gonna glue and screw everything together to get the frame in place. All right guys, this is what I got done so far. The top and the bottom piece. Um, yeah, so I just need to cut out the the legs measure it out and cut it out right now it took me a while to do the the joints and everything hey guys this is what I got um, the bottom frame with the side supports right here this is just a, a guide for the top piece and the top piece is gonna sit on this stud right here so on the other end it has the same thing the stud right here but then I completed um, this end right here you can see right here that top the top piece that we created yesterday we're gonna set it on top so all of the weight is gonna be sitting on these two um, two by fours right here and this is just the guide so everything lines up and, and all of that just the bottom is two by four the top is two by six um, I originally didn't want to do holes like this in the front, but then the screws just kind of go straight in. We're going to add some putty and then sand it over and paint everything white. So, yeah, let me get 
this end done right here and then I'll show you guys everything else. I got all of the four eight pieces on right here. Again, this is the guide. So you can line up the top piece and these are the support legs. All of the weight's gonna go on to the eight pieces right here. There's two, four, six, and eight over here. Um, the top I chose two by six, so we don't need to, hopefully we don't need a center um, support so we can add a whole bunch of stuff. Now I'm going with um, 40 inches high for this stand. It's going to be a bit much, but I was torn between 30 and 40. That's what um, the doors come in, um, 30 inch or 40 inch. The Red Sea Reefer is at 35 inch, so I thought a five inch increase with the stand was not even that much, but I think after adding that five inches, I'm going to need a um, step stool because the tank is 24 inches and the stand is 40 so that's um, 64 inches and I don't think I'll be able to reach all the way down to the bottom of the tank but anyways let me get that um, top piece on on here so you guys can see how everything looks all right guys I got the top on we're gonna do some center braces and kind of clean up everything but we're not have it on the driveway you got to make sure everything is um leveled your floor is leveled and everything if i'm if i start screwing in things right here with the board like this it's going to be crooked so after i turn this off um, i'm going to pull it back into my garage and we'll start screwing everything in together but i think that's it All for right, guys this is on and off um two days now uh i just need to sand everything and kind of use wood filter to fill in the gaps and everything to make it look super nice but um yeah you can see the supports right there i was i've been telling you guys about but i got three supports in the back and horizontal supports on the bottom and top i think that's enough for now i'm not sure if i need any more up here you want to save that space for the reactors and everything but yeah i'm gonna start sanding this and then we'll put the wood filler in and then i'll show you guys how that looks all right guys this is what i have so far i'm filling in the little gaps and everything before we paint it up i went out and got the plywood and everything just the top piece i couldn't exactly cut it in half and have two pieces because I'm going 32 inches um, deep for a little space in the back. So I gotta go back to Home Depot and, and get the new, another piece or like scavenge some other pieces to kind of fill it in. On the bottom, I might be adding more two by fours depending on what I do from there. Today, I'm just gonna sand all of this down right here to make everything flush. But I filled this in yesterday and I took off. Uh, today's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I'm gonna be working on this and we'll see how far we go. All right guys, I gave everything a quick sand, blew it all off and then went over and put in more filler because the wood, I don't know, when I'm going to Home Depot now, a lot of it is like junk and then I gotta um, hand select all of these pieces but then a lot of the pieces like have gouges and everything like that and I want my surface to be like completely smooth when I paint over it so I'm just filling it in and then we're gonna sand it. Here are the legs that I got. Um, we're just gonna drill a hole and then pound that sleeve in and then the leg screws in allowing you to adjust about half an inch up or down. I don't know how many I'm going to put in, but I'm going to measure it out and see what happens. Alright guys, I moved the party to the backyard. See everything right here. I'm going to start sanding and then we'll try to paint the inside first. And then we'll get the boards on and then do the finishing touches and then 
I'll try to spray everything after. So I got this thing on the side and I nailed in these um, feet right here. What it is, it's just a leveling feet right here where you can just screw it in. So I took a drill bit and drilled it to the, the size of the sleeve and pounded it in. I have about 24 feet leveling feet right now. I have another bag but I think that's enough for what we're doing. The screws in. Okay. So this is like all the way in and then if we have any leveling issues or anything like that we can unscrew it out so it'll level the stand out but yeah right now I'm just gonna blow everything off and then spray some primer on it and then we'll see where we can go from there what's up guys this is day three uh, I kind of just stopped filming and just got busy working on the, the table and everything the stand I mean but I got the the top board in and I countersunk all of the holes right here I also primered everything and right now I'm working on the bottom um, plywood I cut out the notches so we could slide it in and screw it in place but I'm gonna test fit this in right now and if it fits and everything I'm just gonna get um, spackling and fill in the all of the voids right here with the plywood and then spray some primer on it and then I'll do the same for this top board right here I sanded everything down but we're gonna spackle all of the voids this is not too bad I don't see that many voids but like right here you can see um, just gonna test fit and then we'll do the spackling and then we'll primer the the top piece and the bottom piece right here and then we'll paint everything white what's up guys um, yesterday I screwed in the boards the bottom and the top I cut out the notches kind of cocked all of the little gaps and stuff between the two by fours um, like between here man from far away it looks good but when you're up close you could see all of the little imperfections and everything but um I put on like five coats of white um, paint first I put on some gloss paint but then it kind of magnifies the imperfections so I went back to um, Home Depot and I bought some flat white paint for um, ceilings or just um, drywall and I put on like five coats and I'm gonna put on some more coats today and then we're gonna we're gonna move this into the house and then get everything into position all right so up top right here is the three-quarter inch um, plywood and I kind of use the spackle to fill in the gap right here and the voids within the plywood it looks pretty straight from up front right here I'm pretty happy with it but I'm already thinking of ways to kind of make this more um, flush maybe with vinyl wrap vinyl wrap or even acrylic maybe cut like a thin piece of acrylic just to cover everything and have it all um, slick and shiny but right now I'm going for this white matte look from far away it looks good to me but um, up close you see like little imperfections like right here you guys can see that Maybe I'll just fill it in some more, but I just kind of want to get this done already. All right, guys, um, kind of over it with painting. I put a couple more coats on, and then I put some onto the plywood as well on the bottom and the top. And I went underneath and painted everything white as well. So this whole thing is covered with paint. I pretty much used um, half a can of paint right here for the stand so I'm just gonna cut it short right here because this video I have so many clips of the stand I don't know how to break it up 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut this one short and then the next video will have this inside in the position where I want it. All right guys, I hope you guys have a great day and remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one.